Unravel the world of homonyms in English. Hello and welcome, English language learners. Today, we're going to dive into an exciting part of the English language. Homonyms. Understanding and mastering homonyms is an essential part of your English vocabulary development journey, specifically in the context of hobbies and interests around reading and writing. So, first things first. What are homonyms? Homonyms are words that sound alike but have different meanings. Homonyms can be spelled the same way or differently. This might seem confusing at first, but don't worry. We'll break it down together with examples. Let's start with homonyms that are spelled the same. These are words that sound alike, have different meanings, but are spelled the same way. For example, consider the word bat. A bat can be a nocturnal flying mammal, or it can be a piece of sports equipment used in games like baseball or cricket. Another example is bank. A bank can be the edge of a river, or it can be a place where we deposit and withdraw money. Now, let's look at homonyms that are spelled differently. These words sound alike but have different spellings and different meanings. For example, consider bear and bear. Bear means uncovered or naked, while a bear is a large mammal. Another example is flour and flour. Flour is a powder used in baking, while a flower is a beautiful plant that blooms. Mastering homonyms may seem daunting at first, but with practice, it becomes easier. Reading widely and paying attention to context will help. When you encounter a word that you suspect could be a homonym, look it up to confirm its meaning and spelling. Over time, you'll find yourself recognizing and correctly using homonyms more frequently. And that's a wrap on homonyms. Remember, Understanding homonyms is a critical step to improving your English vocabulary. Practice identifying and using these words, and soon enough, you'll find yourself navigating the English language with more confidence and ease. Until next time, keep practicing, and happy learning!